Welcome to my channel. My name is Capucine. I'm a Reiki master teacher and I'm very happy to welcome you right now to this video. So I'm going to pick up some cards and I want to talk about different subjects. Um, I want every one of you to gather a little bit of a little bit of something. So there's energies to every day, there's energies to every month. And you might have watched my water signs, fire signs, earth signs and earth signs, uh, reading and energy healing for the year of 2020. Uh, you can check them on my channel right now. And many people still come to me in you know March, April to tell me how it resonates with them still to this day because it's a you know it's a year 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 reading so we all have things to learn from this so today i wanted to talk about the risings so depending on the hour you were born you have a specific ascendant a rising and i reconnect to this point in the astrological charts because it's a very important point it kind of tells you who, who you operate as and you know how how the world sees you how you see yourself what your parents try to um you know engage with and um encourage within you know the whole world of archetypes so there are uh, many many different archetypes and you know as we see so jack sign has uh, 12 varieties with 12 different um, ascendant um, possibilities. But within that, there's the different decans. So there's three decans uh, of each 10 degrees. So, you know, we could do, you know, three times 12, so 36. So we gather from 12 archetypes to 36. And then actually there's, there's 10 degrees within those decans. So, you know, times 10, so 360. So there's 360 degrees. You could be all of those different, you know, um, archetypes, those different um, development of energies, and and you could check what they mean by, uh, you know, going with different theories, different astrologers' work. Um, there's many, many different understanding of each degrees. There's the Sabian symbols. Uh, I really like those. There's the Pleiadian symbols. There's um, different ones but <laughs> today I'm gonna stay on the 12 <laughs> archetypes I'm not gonna do the 360 and I'm gonna start with Aries and I'm gonna pick up a card and kind of I'm not gonna tell you who you are that's not my place um, I'm just gonna tell what the card is telling me what the energy is of right now and what could be of you know interest to you um, in the next weeks, month, I mean just whichever consideration you would like and this is timeless so if you listen to this in a few years it still relates because uh, you've been guided to this specific place. So Aries, let's just see if there is a jumper, a card who jumps instead of me picking it up. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, Aries. So you're out here doing things very quickly. You're on the move. And um, this card is here to kind of show you how quick you're going. And maybe, maybe you could consider going a little bit slower. And if that doesn't relate and you've actually been really slow, maybe you could consider going a little bit faster. So Aries, you're on the run. You have ambitions. You have desires. You want to see them through. And sometimes we know inspiration is a specific energy and we need to act quick in order to you know, see through because we might not want to do it later on. And that card is here to you know kind of show you that there's a lack of balance. You you're um, either going too quick or too slow, and um, you know you have momentum right now. So act on it. Uh, act on that momentum according to what you know uh, goes with your situation. And um, I'm 
just want to kind of kind of give you Reiki right now. Just you Okay, cool. Closing it back up. And now let's go into Taurus writing. That was so quick. <laughs> oh, the lovers. All right. So the lovers is all about alchemy, you know, seeing all different parts of you and looking directly through um, the guidance of divine to um, gather on what you're going to be doing in the future. So accepting the different parts of you, there's of course, you know, masculine and feminine within you, but melding it, um, understanding what's happening through the eyes of divine guidance with connecting with your inspiration. So it could also you know mean that you're about to meet someone but you know when you meet someone it's because you attract their energy that is something that is missing within you you have it within you but you just don't look at it you don't want to see it so my little tip is to really see all the parts of you and maybe you know identify the lover that you have as uh, representing some characteristics that you also have but you have uh, displaced them and really asking for divine guidance to help you. So I'm gonna also give you Reiki towards that. So it's taking on the nose, I can feel that. You know, the instinct. Take in the reality that is happening around you and understand that, that what is outside is also what is inside you. So you don't need to close yourself off from the world because that's a reflection of what's happening inside. Okay, all in the head, all in the nose. I'm just clarifying, just giving it more flow. So you can peace it all together and up and closing up closing up closing up closing up that's intense <laughs> gemini rising okay damn he scared me <laughs> another another declination of the lovers card so it's pretty much about lovers as well the Two of Cups is about, you know, meeting with someone. As you can see, the man is the one who reaches out to the woman. So if you are a woman, just know that you are being met by um, by people and you can just wait it out and see if they actually come because they're your perfect reflection. They are um, the perfect counterpart, but it needs to be done that way. If you are a man, um, and there is a counterpart that you enjoy, um, reach out to them. And for same gender couples, um, in each of us, there is a masculine and a feminine. Uh, even I, as a woman, I see the masculine parts of me. So do as you see fit. If you feel like you want to embody one of those parts of yourself, just go with what feels comfortable to you. But yeah, this is speaking of um, your ascendant, who you are in the world, is about to meet um, the perfect counterpart. And 
in the meantime, if you prepare for it, I would say to check on with what you really want out of a relationship and to set up kind of the boundaries of what's going to be there and what's um, what's acceptable based on, you know, maybe your past, maybe you've had difficult, difficult uh, situations. So, yeah. I'm going to do Reiki again. I can feel it in the nose as well. I mean, we're with the same cards. So... More about listening for you. And I would say just have more silence in your life. Try to cut down on, you know, watching videos. <laughs> yeah, so closing back up. All right, Cancer Rising. Pentacles, Cancer, you're about to just, you know, be a part of a community and serve the community as you do, Cancers, uh, Cancer Risings. Um, you're seen as the kind of matriarch, patriarch who takes care of, you know, situations and your shadow as a Cancer Rising is the Capricorn 7th house, so that also connects with this energy. So, of course, you are, you know, in a way, as a Cancer, taking care of the emotions of your community. This is uh, a way of taking care of the resources of your community. Are you giving too much or are you not giving enough? How can you be of help? How can you be of help to yourself and to others? What is your relation to others, to the other? So, yeah, again, there's um, some things that need to be done, especially in this time. Uh, but there's also, you know, boundaries to be had. It's in the throat for you. All right, Reiki for the throat. It goes up into the teeth, so it's anger, kind of. Okay, good. Closing back up. Leo rising. I am such in a channeled state that when the card falls, I'm I'm afraid. It's too brusque. All right, the devil. The devil is about um, identifying where you've been shackled, where you are being controlled, and how can you remove those shackles. So, Leo rising. How are you, you know, sabotaging yourself? or being, um, you know, considering wilding out. Do you feel like you've been tamed? Do you feel like there is parts of you where you can't move any longer? Maybe it's a comfort zone and maybe you could Remove the shackles and go a little bit further and create something more, create a wider universe instead of a small comfort zone. Let's just do the Reiki and, and let you figure it out for yourself. Okay. 
shoulders. Can you hear the birds? Back of the neck, shoulders. Okay, closing back up and you can come and learn Reiki with me. I teach Reiki and I also give different group healings every Tuesday. So you can go check that out on C-A-P-U-C-I-N-E-F dot com. C-A-P-U-C-I-N-E-F dot com. Capucineff dot com. And you can join our school. You can join my healings. We go much deeper than that. Um, yeah. Virgo rising. Page of Wands. <laughs> I'm a Virgo rising, so. Um, Page of Wands. Take initiative. I mean, you've got the inspiration and you're waiting for someone else to do the start, but this is about you doing it. Don't wait. Don't wait. I know it's better to, sometimes it's better to respond to things instead of start it first, but this is, this is your realm. This is your energy. You're the one who's supposed to start it for this time being when you're watching this video. So um, I'm going to give Reiki to the heart because I feel the heart is being like, oh, I'm, no, it's so stressful. I'm not ready for it. So let's just open the heart. Yeah, it is your time. It is your time to start those things. So go. Don't be afraid. You are being supported and you are being guided. You are not alone. This is sacred work. Closing it back up. Libra rising. Libra rising. Okay. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. What field do you want to stand on? What are you considering? What are you holding in your hands? You know, the, the idea of being within this industry, within this community, within this group, within this collective um, project. Like, what are you considering? Because you are considering something. Maybe you need to be considering something. All right, thumb, left thumb. It's the finger of the moon. Is it? Oh, it's Mars. Um, well, instead of going into, you know, the world's energy, I'm just going to feel what is the energy for me? It feels very fiery, chaotic, wild, self-centered. That's why. That's why you need to give in to give in to the emissions of others and to just you know join a community and do something for something else than yourself. Closing back up. Scorpio rising. Okay. 
Um, there's multiple cards. I'm gonna take them all in. Scorpio rising. There's a divine timing at end. There's something happening that is just gonna happen what it needs to happen. It's gonna bring you memories of the past of nostalgic memories and 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 people and uh, stories that you started and they are not finished yet and this is uh, about to come to you so sorry you don't need to be doing anything you don't need to do anything um things are coming to you in the timing of what's coming to you so just be ready to welcome in past people uh, to come and talk with you because that's just what's happening and this is because the time is now to welcome them back. It wasn't ready before, it wasn't, maybe it won't happen later on, but it's now. So I'm feeling the right hip. So I'm going to give Reiki to the right hip, which is um, the support, the, the, the help from the tangible world. So those people could be bringing in sense of being surrounded by family and helpers and not on your own okay closing back up Sagittarius rising. <laughs> okay. Six of swords. Change. Change is coming. You're moving on. You're moving on. If you haven't, if you um, need to, you know, remember, what I mean is that maybe you've been stuck. Maybe you've been in places and you've been uh, holding on to something, but it's time to move on. It's time to do the move and travel into calmer calmer waters you know it's less wavy it's more calm i'm getting the um, the idea of telling your story you need to tell your story to someone or to yourself or to journal it you just need to um because you're holding on to it telling it by sharing it on paper or to someone is a way to remove the hold on and know that it still exists somewhere somehow but your body your mental being doesn't need to be holding on to it anymore because it's uh, somewhere else hmm. i like that i've never considered that that way i'm not getting any reiki places you have to do your own healing i can't do it for you and that comes with telling your story. But you could be checking um, Taurus because Taurus we did something with the throat. With the lover's card, so you can go back in time. And take that in if you really want to. Capricorn rising. Clear, clear the energy. Capricorn rising, please. Capricorn. Two cards. The chariot and the ten of cups. So the chariot is about moving, moving forward, advancing, have you know, being victorious in, in ways. Um, and then the Ten of Cups is about enjoying the actual um, good situation that you've conquered. It's about being in a, in a good environment, in a good atmosphere, in a good energy. Sometimes there's obstacles, but this is what you've chosen. This is your story. You're you know, in alignment. You're not away from the alignment. So Capricorn Rising. If you're not feeling like those times are there, they are certainly coming. 
you are moving forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting just like, don't grind your teeth, open up, relax, relax your body. I'm gonna give you some Reiki symbols that will help you energetically to relax. From the top of your head, down your temples, down your ears, down your teeth, your jaw, your throat, your shoulders, your spine, your organs, your hips, your legs, your ankles, your feet, into the earth. Closing back up. Aquarius rising. I did say it right. Aquarius. Aquarius? <laughs> too much sun. I'm sorry for the weird video. That's too many cards. Too many cards. Too many cards. Back up. Aquarius rising, please. Clear your energy. not happening okay perspective is needed right maybe at you know not like Aries who was moving fast maybe you just need to stop and see the world from upside down see the situation from another perspective yeah just you know try to consider things from another point of view Stand still and also if you've been trying to make a decision, just wait until like this is not the time to make it. Because there is a standstill, a moment in time, you don't have all the information. So you're gonna get them soon, but you don't have all the pieces pieced together. Which part of the body is calling for me? The back of the head? And the left shoulder. Mm. It really hurts. Okay. I'm dusting off the shoulders. So you can see the original state. And the back of the head. And back up. Pisces rising. Pisces raising, Pisces. Okay, I'm singing now. Okay, four of coins, four of pentacles. 
Are you being too rigid right now? You're holding on to, you know, your wealth, your security, your people. Maybe you should be um, letting them breathe for a minute. Letting it all breathe for a minute. Surrender. Kind of give it a little bit of a, a little gap for it to move and become something much better than what it is right now. Yeah. Just release a little bit just to see what happens. You might be really well surprised. All right. It's the ears. Sorry, I'm just going crazy for the ears. <laughs> you know how fishes breathe from this thing that I don't know the word in English? Branchy in French. Yeah, I feel them in your energy, in energy space. You know, we've had them when we were in our mother's belly apparently i need to check that out i need to confirm that but apparently we were breathing through that how strange right all right closing it back up thank you so much for being here thank you so much for all those cards we picked up thank you for receiving my reiki thank you for listening to my words if any of it relates to you contact me comment uh, come at me and also anybody, everybody can learn Reiki. So you can join our school and develop your own gifts and develop your own uh, mastery of your energy. This really changes your life and the way you understand yourself and the world. It's the most empowering thing in the world. So come at me and if you enjoyed my Reiki touch, you can consult my other videos, my other meditations. You can go on my website and you can, you know, Register to receive Reiki from me in a personal session or in my group Reiki every Tuesday, Energy Conscious. So yeah, my website is again capucinef.com, Capucine F. It's down below and check out with me. Thank you. Take care of yourself.